Well, you'll find the sons of thunder Underneath the Texas skies And the spirit that was thunder Is shining in their eyes I hear thunder Calling as it rolls Their quick as Texas lightning They've got thunder in their souls. I hear thunder. You can't. This is the exciting world of private investigation. Shh. You really just shush me. I hate that. Shh. It's good. Okay, we got him. Let's go. Just a few more. We got plenty of pictures. Let's go. I'm right behind you. Send them bring the auto rewind camera. We got it. Hey, fellas. We just leave it. Your breath. They're still going at it. Good. I thought I was going to be late. Joseph's doing really well. Shows, huh? How proud I am of him. You have reason to be proud. Joseph's a good student. One, two, three. You know something, Trent? I really can't tell you what these classes have done for him. He has more self-confidence. His grades are up. It's like he's a different kid. Martial arts can be a turning point for a lot of kids. It can give them a sense of discipline, focus, a new way of looking at the world. Grown-ups, too. No, you're persistent. I'll give you that. Cheerio! <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. Good we'll see you all tomorrow. Don't be late. Hey, I saw those last kicks. You're getting really good. Yeah, he'll be testing for his green belt in no time. Hey, Joseph, help me out here. I'm trying to convince your mom to take a class. Well, see, I would, but I don't want to embarrass Joseph. I can handle being in the class with my mom. Ah, uh, no, no. What I meant was I don't want to show you up. Show me up? That's cold. I want you. <laughs> See ya. Okay, have a good day. So you know Mrs. Gomez, right? Right. Well, she said that I can do a paper on the history of karate for extra credit. Oh, that's a great idea, huh? Yeah. That's good. Joseph, turn around. Mark, this guy is nuts. Joseph, that is why I'm telling you to turn around.
sons of thunder Underneath the Texas skies And the spirit that was thunder Is shining in their eyes I hear thunder Calling as it goes They're quick as Texas lightning to cover last month's expenses, and now we're further in the red than before. All right, scoot you. Boys need an office manager. Boy, we can't afford an office manager. If you had one, you could afford one. Now, come again? If you had somebody to take care of the business details, you could spend your time worrying about your clients. Yeah, but we have... Yeah, nothing. but nothing. Now, you're in this for real now, and you got to start thinking like a businessman. Now, do you think I run this place by myself? No. I got Joe behind the bar, I got Sandy running the kitchen, I got Chico handling the books. That's why I can spend so much time hanging around with you two. I'm telling you boys, you need an office manager. <laughs> so, uh, Didi, what sort of office experience do you have? Well, um, this one time I was a receptionist at an insurance company. Yeah, I was there for, like, two weeks, then I got fired. I left. <laughs> So, can you tell us why you left your last job? It's just because all the other girls were jealous. Mm -hmm. But it's only because I got bigger tips than they did. Have you ever been bonded? Bonded? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not into that kinky stuff. No hablo inglés, pero me dijeron que no había problema, que yo podía venir, que me iban a dar trabajo seguro porque hago un café. Un ca Tú eres latino, ¿verdad? Te encanta el café seguro, ¿a que sí? Un café hago que está delicioso. Le va a encantar, ¿de verdad? So, Spanish is not a problem. No, no, no at all. Um, muy bien, gracias. Gracias. You should try acupressure. It works wonders. Hi. Hi. Kim Sutter. Trip Malloy. Have a seat. Thank you. Uh, let's see. It says here your last job was as a night manager at a hotel. That's right. I supervised a staff of 10 and handled all the accounting. Yeah, but have you ever worked for a private investigator before? Nope, but I'm a big fan of Magnum P.I. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Kim, I think you're going to be... Trent, uh, can I talk to you for a moment? Excuse us, please. What's up? You are not gonna give her the job. Why not? She's by far the best we've seen. What about Dee Dee? Come on. Thunder Investigation, this is Kim. Um, yes, Mr. Bennett, we are a new company. But, you know, that can actually work to your advantage. Well, one of our partners is a former detective with the Dallas Police Department. And the other is an ex-army ranger who's a third-degree black belt. Um, well, our hourly rate is usually $150. But like I said before, the fact that we're new to the business can definitely work to your advantage. And I think I can clear that with my bosses. Yes, let me just get that address. I got it, and they'll stop them from stealing your computers. Thank you, Mr. Bennett. Bye-bye. Thank you. 
our hourly rate is fifty dollars an hour. Oh wow. Sorry, because we agreed on a hundred. Is that a problem? Because I can call him back. No, no problem. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks, Jack. Since you're going undercover to stop those computer thefts, here's a story. You both got out of Huntsville Prison six months ago, all right? You're now Carlos Santilla. You are now Trent Malone. All right, now what were we in for? Ram theft, assault and battery. If anybody has any questions, you tell them a fellow named Luis Ortega. He's a guard in Seabock. Hmm. Well, let me guess, uh, he owes you a favor. Thanks, dude. All right, man. See you later. See you, Justin. Taking so long. Alex, how is she? She's awake. She um she had a concussion, so the doctors would like to keep her overnight for safety. Yeah, can I go see her? Joseph, I have something to tell you, and you are gonna have to be really strong. Joseph, your mother was raped. And she's gonna need all the support she can get to deal with this tragedy. It's my fault. No. I should have been there. I could have been. I could have... Joseph, Joseph, this isn't your fault. It isn't your fault. Your mom needs you. She won't want you blaming yourself. Can I go see her? She would like that. She doesn't remember a thing. Nothing. Sarah, are you sure you don't want someone to stay with you while Joseph's in school? Oh, thanks, Miss Cahill. I, I think we're gonna be okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stay home today. Yes, but just for today. I don't want you falling behind, all right? Joseph, do you mind if I have a moment with your mother? Yeah, sure. Here. Sarah, with all that you've been through, it's all right to reach out and ask for help. I can recommend a rape crisis center. There are hotlines you can call. And, of course, you can always call me. to talk.
starving. Huh? You hungry? How about a... Yeah. How about a grilled cheese? Sure. Okay. <sighs> Warning next time, pal. What was that? What are you, deaf? I said, how about a little warning next time? Oh, so what do we got here? Real tough guy, don't. Tough enough. Malone handles himself pretty good, don't he? Three years at Huntsville, he never lost a fight. Huntsville, huh? Yeah. Do you got a problem with it? No. No problem. Mm, no, no, no. I, I, don't, I don't think you're getting me here. I need the fax line and the modem line, not only installed, but working by the close of business today. Okay, you listen to me, mister. I have opened up today a cell phone account and a pager account with your company, and I would think that were to earn me a little consideration. Yes, thank you, that would be good. And listen, if you ever need a private investigator, you give us a call. Okay, we'll work something out. Thank you, bye-bye. Hiya. 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 What happened here? Oh, well, I'm just getting things set up. Okay. Cell phones and pagers and all the pertinent numbers. That includes my cell phone and pager. Uh, Kim, did we mention we're not exactly cash rich right now? Yeah, I know. But don't worry. This is all 90 days, same as cash. So tell me, how was your first day of work? So far, so good. I think it went well, you know. Kind of like manual labor. I think it's really satisfying, you know. Works for me. Good. Uh, you looked a little distracted out there. Sorry, Dan. You know, Joseph, um, if you focus in here, it helps you focus out there. She always picks me up after my classes, you know? We drive home, we talk. It's our time. Since it happened, it's just not the same. I'm worried about her. Well, don't. Everything's gonna work out. Get at it. Well, he said that she won't set foot in the kitchen and that she won't leave the house for nothing. She's not going to work. She won't come see his karate classes. Sounds like agoraphobia. Yeah, I agree. And you know, agoraphobia can be just the beginning of the problems. I wish there was something we could do to help. I think there is, Trent. She's not home. No, she's home. Trent, Miss Cahill, what can I do for you? Sarah, may we come inside? Well, I, I really prefer that you didn't. You see, the uh, place is kind of a mess. I, I haven't had a, a chance to clean up. Walker asked us to stop by. Well, if it's about the investigation, I, I still don't remember anything. But when I do, I, I'll call you, OK? Joseph's worried about you. This has nothing to do with Joseph. Yes, it does, Sarah. He loves you and he's scared.
Joseph shouldn't worry so much about me. I'm, I'm fine. Good. Could I, um, trouble you for a glass of water? Please? since that night. You know, not not really, and uh, can't come downstairs anymore after dark. Oh, I'm so tired of this. And Joseph has seemed so strong, you know? I had no idea. I was so unaware of how this was affecting him, and... He's just a kid. He needs to have his mother back, and he needs to live his life. I'm just... I can't do this anymore. Sarah. I may have a way to help you both. I can't do that. Yes, you can. Just watch Alex. I can't do that. Just try okay. it once, okay? Come on. Okay. First, okay. deep breath. You remember when Joseph was born. Same deal. Deep cleansing breath, okay? That's it. Good. Now focus on the target. Talk slowly now. Bring your right knee up, extend the leg, and let it out. That's good. That's good. Once more, this time a little faster. That's great. Sarah, the sound wants to come out. All you have to do is let it. You can do it. Yeah. That's great, Sarah. Yeah, that's terrific. Please. No, 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 that's great. This time, when you hit the target, I want you to try to see him. You don't have to see his face. Just try to picture him in front of you. No. No. I won't do that. Sarah, no, I won't. Just get out, please. That's what you want, Sarah. We'll go. I think we made some real progress here today, though. And if it's all right with you, I'd like to try again. Could come back tomorrow. Oh, Trent, please. Or the next day. Okay. Good. Thank you. I shouldn't have brought up visualizing. No, Trent, the visualizing part was a good idea. She can open up. Let herself see that guy. Police might be able to catch him. I just hope I didn't make things worse today. Will you cut it out, Trent? What you did for Mrs. McNulty was good. It seemed like a good thing at the time, but now I don't know. I mean, she's really going through hell. No, she's already been to hell. You're helping her come back.
okay, Mom. It's just a dream. Just a dream, Mom. It's all right. I'm here. Okay, when I say move, kick. And I want to hear good, loud key eyes. Move. Ha! Good. Relax, relax, take it easy. Don't be too hard on yourself. And get that knee up to the target. Move. Ha! Move. Ha! One more time. Glad you approve. Is there a point to this conversation? There's a point. Hold up. We want to let you guys in on something. It's a way to make some serious cash. How serious? Serious enough. Figure you guys just coming out of Huntsville and all, you could use it. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you know about Huntsville? I might have mentioned it. You might have mentioned it? Hey, I did my time, Sandal, and I don't plan on going back. What is your problem? The guy thought we could use some extra money. Well, guess what? He's right. Money's good? <laughs> yeah, what's the risk? That's the beauty part. No risk. No, 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 no. There's always risk. No, 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 no. Not with this. We got protection. But we gotta know you guys are in before we tell you the rest. the deal. were fuller. Does that look like him? I, I, I don't know. I... It's okay, sir. Focus. Close your eyes and let it come. His face was thinner. That, that's him. That's the man who raped me. I know this wasn't easy, Sarah. But it's gonna help us catch him. Wanted for questioning in connection with an assault on a local Dallas woman. If you know this man, please contact me. Trevette. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm going to put you on a speaker, all right? Go ahead. The man you're looking for, it, it could be Miles Wilson. He is a lawyer. He lives in Highland Park and has an office uh, downtown. Ma'am, what's your name? Donna Johnson. I used to live with Miles. I don't anymore. Ma'am. Welcome to the operation, gentlemen. Peter Endicott, head of security. I have a few questions to ask, if you don't mind. Exactly when were you two at Huntsville? About six months ago. I see. And what were you in for? Grand theft. Malone was in for assault. Is there a problem? The computer records for Trent Malone and Carlos Santian appear somewhat fresh. 
I'm beginning to doubt you two are at Huntsville at all. That's funny. I distinctly remember losing three years of my life there. Obviously, you're not talking to the right people. Dr. Luis Ortega is a guard to run C Block. Oh, thanks. I got my own contacts at Huntsville. And someone they did know was a cop named Carlos Sandoval. He said he used to run with a private detective named Malloy. Now, that wouldn't be you two, would it? <laughs> he thinks I'm a cop. Doesn't know you very well, does he? I'm not a cop. I'm an ex-cop. <laughs> the files? It doesn't look like it. Here's the serial numbers of all the computers they've stolen. You keep very thorough records, Mr. Endicott. I'm afraid you're gonna have to postpone that trip. Wanna come with us, please? What's this all about? We'll explain on the way. Gentlemen, I happen to be an attorney. I know my legal rights. Then you know we have the right to take you into question. Fine. May I call my lawyer? Whatever works. Four. That's him. Are you sure, Sarah? <sighs> On his right forearm, there's a tattoo. A, a black widow spider. Gentlemen, would you please roll up your right sleeve? Ms. Cahill, I must protest. If your client is innocent, Counselor, then you have nothing to worry about. You too, number four. I'd like you to meet a friend, Sarah. Sarah, this is Butch. He's the owner. Sir, nice to meet you. Same here. Well, uh, if y'all need anything else, just holler. Thank you. You know, there's something that I don't understand. 
The counselor at the rape crisis center told me that most of the victims know their attacker. Yes, that's true. 60 to 65 percent of the time. Well, see, that's what I don't get. I don't understand it. I'd, I'd never seen that man before. Why did he pick me? You know, Sarah, he may have picked you at random. Your past may have crossed some time that you don't even remember. But that's not what's important. What's important now is you're getting your life back. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin, a statement from Miles Wilson and his attorney. We feel this is simply a case of mistaken identity and we will be vindicated at trial. My client is a respected attorney, an advocate for women, not a rapist. Excuse me. I just want to say to the woman who thinks that I did this, I'm sorry for what you've been through. I can't even imagine the trauma it's been. But you've made a mistake. I wouldn't do such a thing. I wouldn't hurt anybody. Please, you gotta believe me. How's she doing? She's resting. Well, so what happens now? I mean, the guy's out on bail, but he's not stupid. No, but he's got a lot to lose. According to Trevette, the woman who phoned in the tip about Wilson said that this wasn't the first time that something like this has happened. Well, if that's true, then... Well, Wilson can't risk going to trial and having other victims come forward. So how far would he go to make the whole thing go away? Well, he knows that without physical evidence, the whole case is Sarah's testimony. Joseph can stay with Tommy. Yeah, we can trade off staying here with Sarah. Okay. We'll keep her safe until the trial. I'll take first shift. All right, I'll walk you out. Thanks. Good night. Boss side fuck. Don't you ever get tired of beating me at this? No. <laughs> Kim, do you mind? Sorry. I thought that maybe you'd like to see the article on you guys on the front page. Get out of here. Where? All right. This is just what we need. Local detectives thwart computer thefts. Thwart? What kind of word is thwart? The headline word. This should definitely bring some business our way. The article talks about Sarah's case. Malloy and Sandoval were instrumental in the capture of prominent Dallas attorney Miles Wilson on charges of rape and attempted murder. Malloy and Sandoval. What? 
Technically, it was just Malloy. I would have been there, but it was your shift. <laughs> just busted you. But wait a second. How did the paper get all these details? Did you call him? No, did you? Uh-uh. Butch didn't tell you guys? Uh, Kim, I don't think we need to go into all that uh, right now. I did all the PR work for him when he opened up this place. Ah, suddenly it all makes sense. It was your idea to have an office manager. Well, hey, I knew you needed somebody good, and hey, she's... Uh, he probably sent the other ones, too, I bet. Yeah? Hey, can you set me up with Dee Dee? I don't think so. Why not? Well, for one thing, you're not her type. What do you mean? Why is she not my type? No. Come on. I told you you're not her type. I'm a good-looking guy. No. I have much money, but I make up for it in personality. No. <laughs> but set me up with Dee Dee. No. Texas Lightning, they've got thunder in their soul.